the invisible man by h g wells and today we are on chapter number 7 the unveiling of the stranger it's a very important chapter it's a little longish and yet it would take you to a different turn in the story something different is going to happen chapter number 7 the unveiling of the stranger and the character list of chapter 7 is mrs hall chaffers the village constable and the stranger who will be today in this chapter revealed as the invisible man for the first time the author would be using these words for him up till now he has just been the stranger and the visitor to the people of iping so before we begin chapter number 7 i would ask you to revise in your mind chapter number 5 and chapter number 6 and connect the events with chapter number 7 so um the word unveiling what is the meaning of this word in the title unveiling means to remove the veil a veil is something which covers the face so now the real face of this man is going to be visible to the people of iping what happens in the last chapter the stranger had gone into the parlor from the empty room even though mr and mrs hall had not seen him coming into the house at all so that is a mystery to them just like the mystery of the flying chair in this chapter the stranger who had entered the parlor at around 5:30 in the morning uh and he has remained over there throughout the day he comes out at noon so he remains in the parlor till noon and all this time he has been ringing the bell and yet mrs hall has neither served him any breakfast nor tea so he is hungry all this while and he has been ringing the bell and yet he has not been served there is a crowd of people at the inn there is a crowd of people at the inn um, actually at the bar uh, why have they gathered over here to discuss two things to discuss the burglary that had happened at the vicarage and at the same time the mystery of the flying chair that had happened uh, at the inn so the people a curious crowd is gathered over there discussing what could happen what could be the reason is the stranger the thief and everything and suddenly as they are talking about him the stranger himself himself appears the stranger himself appears uh you know out of the parlor everybody is quiet and he asks for mrs hall and he asks for mrs hall mrs hall is a different character altogether today we know her as a woman who is a very good professional a very good inn keeper who serves her guests with all her heart but today mrs hall is very defiant she is not ready to bear the insulting behavior of the stranger she is ready to ask some very tough questions she uh, appears with the unpaid unpaid bills 
so when he calls for her she comes and she brings the unpaid bills with her and the stranger he says okay fine if this is your problem that the bills are unpaid and that is why you are not serving breakfast he says okay the stranger is ready to pay the money he he says okay i have the money and i am ready but mrs hall today she will not be happy to take the money mrs hall says that she does not want his money she says i want answers so she is ready with some tough questions like you know what does he do and where does he go at odd hours and the mystery of the chair how is the furniture suddenly flying about in the empty room so she is ready with all these questions and you can imagine the stranger who's hungry since morning he is also angry because his bells have gone unanswered so the stranger who's already hungry and who's already very angry he becomes even more angry when he is faced with these kind of questions he does not like people to ask him any questions about his work or what does he do and so today he is very angry he loses his school completely and what does he do he removes his nose yes you are hearing me right he removes his nose and hands it over to mrs hall if you remember in the very first chapter we had discussed you know that pink nose pink shiny nose appeared again and again in the description of this stranger so this very pink nose he just removes it and he hands it over to mrs hall and mrs hall she pretty much shrieks in terror because there is a cardboard sorry a cardboard nose in her hand and she shrieks and that is not all he starts removing the bandages from his face and his head and to the shock of all the people who was you know who are collected there i've already told you there are many people at the bar to the shock of all these pe- people he stands as a a headless figure yes a headless figure a person who has no face and no head but the truth is that he is not without a head it is just that his face is invisible you know the people they scream and they rush out of the inn at the site there is total commotion there is complete commotion people are running and they are shouting they are toppling over each other why because they have seen something that that they could never imagine a headless figure of this stranger standing and someone calls jaffers as we have already discussed jaffers is the constable of the village and on seeing jaffers you know on seeing the police the stranger realizes that he might be overpowered he might be arrested and when